an example of an insect because you can actually see the three body parts and the six legs. So because that's what makes up an insect. So that's why kids are like, oh. Children are born naturally curious about the world around them. They learn best through their own discoveries, hands-on experiences, and sensory engagement, giving young children the opportunity to become outdoor explorers, beginning in the backyard or neighborhood, on the playground or at a nearby park, helps them learn about themselves, their capabilities, and the world in which they live. This is a larva, oh, a larva. for what we call a best beetle or a patent leather beetle. You guys see that? So that's kind of like, it's kind of like the baby. It's not the full grown up a beetle yet. The earlier and more frequently that young children are given a chance to interact with nature, the sooner they will begin to make connections between their actions and the natural environment. Okay, let's try. Oh. Yeah. Let's see how we're going to do this. Families and early childhood educators play an important role in introducing children to outdoor exploration. Adults don't have to be experts in environmental science to take children on a nature hike, help them to plant seeds in a garden, read a story on a picnic blanket at the park, or use crayons and colored pencils to draw wildflowers in the field. By spending time together in shared nature exploration, families and educators can foster children's critical thinking and support them as they make observations and ask questions. What did you find, Inti? Did you find a worm too? Very cool. Oh, you're giving it to me? <laughs> Very cool. All right. Yeah, we're going to grow into big trees or big plants, whatever you want to be. Oh, and you wave in the wind, and you take up some more food from the sun, and you get some more water from the rain. Go. Being with your child out in nature, it helps both adults and children because they just be, they become calmer, they become engaged with what nature has to offer them. It's really terrific when families understand how important it is to engage with their children in exploring the environment. What happens is if she um, gets scared or if she thinks something wants to eat her, um, she can bring in all of her legs and her head and even her tail and she closes up tight like a box. And that's kind of like why we call them a box turtle. We know from research that when children have opportunities to explore the outdoors, to take care of plants, to take care of animals, that they develop a sense of respect for the environment and an opportunity to develop compassion for the growth cycle and the process of nature around them. Does anybody have any questions about our Tommy, our Natasha? Very good. Yeah, so it's pretty hard, isn't it? Yeah, it's made of bone. <laughs> there are many reasons why I think it's so important to spend time outside with Ben. Um, one is that you know it brings back memories of the, all the wonderful things I love to do as a child, exploring. But I think uh, being outside in nature really helps develop all of his senses. Um, you know, his his sight. You know, watching things, um, hearing. We sometimes go on nature walks where we try to listen to all the sounds that nature makes, uh, touch, you know, physical coordination, climbing over logs. I think it really develops him as the full child. So now what you're going to do is you're going to paint with the mud. Today I really liked that uh, we had a mix of uh, activities. We took a short walk and we talked about the, the earth and uh, we looked at bugs, at insects. We did some exploration with them, something that they can do on their own. And then we came here and had fun with, with rocks and paint and mud, things that we can find in nature and uh, that can also be fun. I always tell kids when they go exploring, and parents too, to look high and low because there are all kinds of things living eat underground, on top of the ground, high up in the trees, and even just on one tree, there could be different types of animals living on different layers of the trees themselves. Um, so yeah, nature is there. You just have to have your eyes open to actually see it. So look at this. These, these are called best beetles or patent leather beetles, and these are the adults to this one, okay? So this is the baby one, and then they're gonna change into what we call the best beetles. And you can tell that these are insects and not bugs is because they have three body parts. They have the head, um, thorax, and abdomen, and they have six legs. 
I think it's a great time for us to reconnect uh, uh, when we're um, spending time outside. Uh, it gives us an opportunity to get away from all the electronics and devices and what have you, uh, and just experience nature. Yeah. It's exfoliating your skin. It's good for you. I'm joking. The parent is comfortable getting dirty, then the child is not even going to have a second thought about, I'm getting dirty. It's like, I am out here, I'm with my mom and dad, or my grandmother and grandparent, or whatever um, grown up that child is with that day. They're okay with me getting my hands in there, exploring, you know, all kinds of things that might be living in the dirt, or like living under a log, um, or just inspecting what might live on, underneath a leaf. It's important for me to spend time outside with my son because I want him to explore his environment. I want him to be engaged with the world and uh, to understand that uh, uh, things come from somewhere and uh, not just from the supermarket and uh, that we're part of nature too.